there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are going to be tackling our family room. It has gotten a little out of hand, the toys are overflowing, and we really just need to tidy up, declutter, and then we will get to also vacuuming the couch and the new rug that we got for our family room. So let's go ahead and empty out this incredibly messy toy chest and start decluttering. So as I was taking everything out, I tried to keep like items like with each other, tried to keep like the little people toys together as well as like baby toys and books and things like that so that organizing it and putting it away would be a lot easier. So now that the toy chest is like totally emptied out sans the magnetic tiles and puzzle because that really didn't need tidying, I'm just giving it a quick vacuum before I try to figure out how things are going to fit back in here. Now I I have to say when I am the only one who cleans up the toy chest never gets this way I would always store like things you know make sure the sets are together and put them back in a way that everything could fit nicely but I'm not always the one who ends up tidying up because you know I'm busy doing something else so I ask the family to do it and things just get dumped inside so it was really bad and that's why I was just like you know what let's just let's just go through this myself and get rid of some things and just try to clear up some space and make it more functional. And as I'm cleaning this little corner with this broom, I have to say having little toy cleaning supplies, it can be actually pretty useful. We use this broom sometimes like to dust or, you know, brush things out from under our couch. And in this case to actually sweep up some dirt. So the first thing that I'm putting away are stuffed animals and in this little like gray basket thing, I tend to keep stuffed animals and balls, things that don't really have like a set to go with. And so we just toss them all in there. They're soft and you know, Jack can go and kind of pull out whatever and play with it. And we can all just toss it all back in there. Then what I'm doing is I'm just going through some things and deciding to give things away, maybe things that got broken or just aren't working exactly as they should be. I'm either gonna throw them away or give them away. I'm also giving away things that I have not duplicates of, but like duplicates of the idea. So if I have two things that essentially have the same purpose, I'm giving the one away that maybe doesn't store as nicely as the other, or, you know, is a little bit more bulky or things like that. And then I went in my bedroom and realized that we had put some more toys aside is like a quick cleanup. Our bedroom ends up being like the storage for when we need to just tuck things away to make the other spaces clean. So I had to go get those piles and try to figure out where their missing pieces were and so on. So I don't know if this idea will stick, but I brought out this big plastic like bin to put all of the like little people toys. We have a cute little taco truck and a fire truck and things like that. And I thought it would be fun to like just take that entire bin out and create a little village that we can play with. Unfortunately, the farmhouse doesn't fit in that bin, so it still has to kind of sit on top and it might be kind of a waste of space. In the little baskets that we have out all the time for the kids to play with, I have figurines and cars and then I'm putting out like two toys in this little empty space for the kids to play with and I will be rotating those out with toys that are in this little toy chest. Thank you. 
And I have to say that after, you know, getting rid of some of the more bulky things or some of the extra stuff that we really didn't need anymore and really kind of streamlining it, this toy chest looks a whole lot better. It's so much more tidy and I'm really pleased with how it all turned out. And if you noticed, I actually use like the little plastic bags that bed sheets come in as ways to store Legos or like sets of things. Like we have musical items and I throw those in one of those bags. It's, they're great to like see what you're dealing with, to zip them up and just toss them in a toy chest. So now we're gonna go ahead and put the giveaway stuff out where I will remember hopefully to actually give it away and actually complete that process. And we're gonna clear off the couch, clear off the rug, and go ahead and give this a vacuum. Now I mentioned in my party cleanup video I typically like to use like my party cleanups as my reminder to vacuum the couch because we have a lot of people over, they might be outside, might be dirty. And so I like to vacuum our couch after our parties, which are kind of spaced out, you know, throughout the year. So for this year with Aubrey's birthday party, I didn't get around to doing it when I was doing my party cleanup video, but I knew that it had to get done. So I figured, you know, while we're tackling the toys and decluttering in the family room, let's go ahead and give this a vacuum. And then we're going to be vacuuming our new rug for the first time as well. I really like how this design doesn't show any dirt. And if, you know, my family breaks the rules and actually eats over here and something spills, it will most likely be hidden. In, in the design. The one downside to this rug that we got is it's not very cushiony, so it's, you know, it's not very soft to sit on or things like that, but it still works. Anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for joining along as I cleaned and decluttered this family room. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.